Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, I will be showing you how to set up messages in QuickBooks Online. From your QuickBooks Online Company dashboard, click on the gear icon in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Select Account and Settings in the pop-up window, and then choose Sales on the left-hand side toolbar. From the Sales tab, scroll down to Messages and click Anywhere to open. From the Messages section, you will see the following options. A greeting, you can select either dear or to as the salutation and determine how you want the customer's name to appear in the greeting. The sales form, you can change the suggested email message for each of the following customer forms, an invoice, an estimate, a credit memo, a sales receipt, a statement, refund receipt. Each form can have a completely different email message. You can change the standard email subject line provided by QuickBooks, but I recommend keeping the form number for customers that might receive multiple invoices in a short period of time. Your email should be customized for your business, but not personalized for any particular customer. If you have a client that you would like to treat special, I highly recommend that you create a custom invoice just for them, which can include a custom email message that I will discuss later in this tutorial. If you've modified the message and want to return to the original message suggested by QuickBooks, click the green Use Standard Message button next to the sales form. You can check the box to send a copy of every email automatically to the QuickBooks Online Administrator, plus provide a list of additional email addresses that should receive copies. These email addresses will receive copies anytime a client is sent this form, so make sure the person wants and needs all of these emails. Sales Forms. Select the type of form that will use the message you customize for example, estimates or invoices and other sales forms. When you're satisfied with your email settings for all six customer forms, click the green save button at the bottom of the messages section. You can also customize the appearance of your communications. When creating and sending a sales form, you will see the default message that you just created on your form. Often the default message is sufficient, but if you opt to customize your email invoice or any other sales forms, you can do so with the following steps. Scrolling to the top of the sales settings screen, click on the green customize look and feel button to enter the custom form screen. Select an invoice or any other form from the custom form styles list and click edit. Here you can create a template or customize particular sales forms from the menu below. Click on the emails tab to view the available options. Now you might have learned how to design your custom estimate and invoices in my video, how to customize invoices or sales forms in QuickBooks Online. Now we'll work with the third tab in the design window emails to customize the email that will accompany your estimate. The default options in this screen should match the options you selected in a prior section for your estimates. The changes you make here will only apply to this particular estimate template. This could be very useful if you want to customize your email messages to a particular set of your customers. To do so, create a custom template for each set of customers and apply that template when you generate a sales form. 
changing the default email message for custom invoices and sales receipts follows the same procedure. From the custom forms style window, create a new invoice or sales receipt or edit an existing one and go to the emails tab. You've learned how to set up messages in QuickBooks Online, including creating emails for invoices and other sales forms. You also learned how to customize the default email settings for custom invoices, estimates, and sales receipts. The next guide in this course is how to set up customer statements in QuickBooks Online. This will cover a few options that are available for formatting the statements you send to customers. For more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks online coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.